Hello, this is Solar PBTV from EU PVSEC 2016 from Minchan, from Monaco. And we are together with a representative of the industry here from the scientific side, uh, Pierre Verlinden, who is uh, a chief scientist officer at Trina Solar, the biggest, uh, the largest uh, solar company in the world. Uh, hello, Pierre. Hello. So, Pierre, what brings you here? to EU PVSEC to München. Uh, I think that you are traveling now from the United States before we met in Shanghai, so you are traveling the world. However, you are always coming to EU PVSEC. I'm, I'm always interested in uh, uh, the new technologies, is what the, the people are doing, uh, what the new technology for silicon crystal, or crystalline silicon cells, passivation, metallization, new efficiency, new um, new technologies like tandem, uh, silicon-based tandem cells. Uh, um, I'm really interested to see what uh, uh, people are doing and also I'm here to support uh, uh, our engineers presenting uh, papers at the conference. Uh, so I like the UPVSEC. Uh, I, I, missed, I missed a few uh, since my first PVSEC in 1980, wow. um, but uh, I think I've been at most of the UPVSEC uh, uh, since the beginning. Yeah. So we have quite a good overview uh, of uh, the previous conferences, what was happening in terms of the technology development, innovation, and uh, do you have any feedback? Is something interesting uh, in the air, let's say, at this EUPVSEC? Well, I think that um, the interest of high efficiencies is, is growing up and uh, uh, the, the laboratories are, are switching um, towards um, uh, passivated contact studies, for example, or um, uh, silicon-based tandem uh, with perovskite, with three fives, with uh, two six. Um, I think uh, uh, we see a lot of interest in uh, in higher uh, higher efficiency. What's the next step after silicon? Because silicon, of course, we're getting now very close to the theoretical limit. The the highest efficiency is 25.6. Mm -hmm. The uh, theoretical limit for practical uh, limit is about 29.4. Um, so um, we're getting very close. It's getting very difficult to go higher. We need to, to find a, um, um, the next technology. And I think the next technology is still is going to be silicon based mm -hmm. uh, because uh, we, the, the silicon has an enormous momentum uh, and it uh, will keep the lead in terms of cost, in terms of efficiency with the other technology. So it's a, it's a good uh, stepping stone for the tandem structure. Uh, so, so you feel uh, actually like a fish in the water, yeah? Because high efficiency, and uh, this is, let's say, your um, best ex uh, expertise, yeah? Because you, I think that, you know, you made like four world records, yes? I think it's about 13 uh, ah. <laughs> since I joined Trina, yes. Uh, um, not. All of them are recognized at world record because we they are not uh, um, the, the most efficient cell mm -hmm. uh, that you could fabricate in the lab. For example, the PERC cell is 25% efficient uh, in the lab. We we made the most efficient industrial size six inch PERC cell, uh, but it's not record, uh, recognized as a world record per se, mm -hmm. uh, like in the Martin Green efficiency table, but. For the industrial people, it is a world record. So we, we made about 13 records wow. since uh, I joined Trina. And so maybe it was also a reason that's why you received um, the award last last month, yes? Yeah, so at the, um, two weeks ago at the uh, IEEE PVSC, I received the William Cherry Award mm -hmm. for um, Lifetime Achievement in Photovoltaics. So congratulations. And much. Pierre, uh, it was a great honor, and uh, and and I, I thank all the people who helped me at uh, Trina Solar, the State Key Lab of PV Science Technology at Trina Solar. They've been very, uh, very good to to help me to demonstrate those uh, those technologies. And I think it's very interesting, yes, that it's not only just uh, let's say um, high efficiency in the laboratory, but also you know to putting these efficiencies and this work on the battlefield, yeah, in the, towards the industry? Well, for, for me, the most important thing is reliability. Mm -hmm. um, and efficiency, it's, uh, it's important, of course, uh, because it gives you a benchmark what you could achieve in production, so to give you a, a, a target mm -hmm. to aim at. But, reliability. but the, the most important thing is reliability. So, so we, we do a lot of work on reliability, uh, which this work, it's, it, 
it's behind the scene. Um, most of the time, uh, nobody publish about it, and we don't publish more about it because it's more exciting to publish high efficiency results. But we do a lot of work on reliability. So, uh, Pierre, you touched a bit uh, this topic, and you were mentioning that now the industry is focusing more and more on high efficiencies. So, um, because in the past it was mainly focused on the uh, scaling up, yes, mm -hmm. and uh, reducing the cost. So, so how do you see from the perspective of Trina? So, what will be the, you know, like in the short term uh, and long term, the 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 next technologies which will not be like in the uh, laboratory, but you know, on the on the industry scale, uh, you know big solar parks, etc. How, how do you see that? You, know, you are on this battlefield, I would say. You are not just a scientist in the laboratory. Yeah, I, I don't want to say that we work only on efficiency. You know, we, we, we keep bringing the cost down. And the cost is, is going down at a rate about uh, 9 to 12 percent per year. Mm -hmm. uh, manufacturing cost, and uh, we keep going uh, in that direction. We have not stopping working on costs. Yes. It's, it continues. The, the, um, uh, the most important thing is, of course, LCOE, so the, the, the levelized cost of electricity. Every new cell we bring to the market, we need to demonstrate to the customer that there is an advantage in the cost of energy that they produce. If there is no advantage, um, why would they buy that new product? So that's extremely important. So we cannot develop a new cell just because it's high efficiency. No, no, it's good. Yeah. Also, you know, the, thanks to high efficiencies, uh, the cost is uh, lower at the end, yeah, because you know, because we can produce more from the same surface, yeah, or from the same solar cell. Uh, well, it depends where you introduce, you put it. So th there is not one single market. Mm -hmm. You have market in China, for example, is very different than the market in Japan or US or Europe. Um, if you have a market with the cost of land is very low, the cost of labor is very low, high efficiency doesn't bring any advantage. Mm -hmm. However, and that's the case for example in, in China for ground mounted utility scale application. But however, if you go to, to Japan where the, the cost of land is very expensive and labor is expensive, uh, there is a, a, a great interest in using higher efficiency like uh, monoperc modules uh, because that reduces the, the size of the, the power plant, reduces the maintenance cost, reduces the installation cost, etc. And, and there are markets where um, uh, people want very high efficiency because they have a restricted restrict space and they, have, they need the high efficiency. Exactly. And, they have a small roof, for example, and they need um, 10 kilowatt of power. They need very high efficiency module, and they are ready to pay a higher price for that. So you have many different type of customer, many different type of market. And, okay. and, and Trina offered the whole range of products from the lowest efficiency to the highest efficiency that you could find. So that's, a, that's one of the, the advantage of, um, of Trina is they offer a large a portfolio of products. And uh, I would like to ask you this question, it's more strategic, let's say, from the point of view of Trina. Now we will be having more and more companies who are coming to solar industry, like big players, you know, the sleeping giants, I would say, maybe like Samsung, etc., maybe even Apple, Google, these all big guys maybe will mm -hmm. enter in this energy space. And do you think uh, that uh, Trina will be able to compete? Do you have this kind of strategical insight that you would like to share? Well, I think it's great. I, I think it's great. The, uh, the first, the PV market has um, way to grow, um, probably another 20, 30, or 40 times what it is today. Um, so there's plenty of space. We really welcome Apple and Google and um, IKEA and Walmart putting PV system on their roof. I think this is wonderful. The uh, uh, U.S. company, the big, large U.S. companies have put um, almost a gigawatt of PV panels on their roof and uh, really encourage other companies to do so. I think that's really the way to go, to demonstrate the, uh, the benefits of, uh, of PV. Yes, and uh, yeah. if the big players like this are coming to the market, yes. it means that it's something really serious. Yes, absolutely, and uh, we really welcome them. Okay, so um, last question uh, with regards to UPVSEC. You were mentioning that this is the place to be, you are coming very often. But um, 
you have a very good also overview of the vision, not only of the science vision, but also of the industry vision. Yes, because you are working for the largest solar company. And what would be your recommendation for EU PVSEC organizers for the next editions? Well, my recommendation is to keep it uh, the scientific level very high. Mm -hmm. um, we, we need scientific conference. Um, there are other conferences that are more focused on, uh, on marketing and policies and, and um, deployment, but uh, I think uh, UPVSEC needs to stay uh, at a very high scientific level. That's very important. And you're gonna, of course, attending the next uh, conferences in the future. I hope so. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Pierre, for spending time with us. Uh, I know you are very busy traveling the world, uh, working for the largest solar company. And thank you very much for your insight. And uh, let's meet on other place on Earth. Thank okay. you so much. Thank you. That was Solar PVTV with uh, Chief Scientific Officer at Trina Solar at uh, EU PVSEC in Munich. Thank you so much.